So here's the graph of g of x. There's four key points on this graph. We want to have a vertical compression by a factor of one-third and a translation of two units up. So again, I find very helpful, take the four points that you know. So this one is negative 5 comma 3, negative 2 comma negative 3, 1 comma 0, and 4 comma 6. We'll have to do two sets and it's always that you always have to do stretches and compressions first and always have to do translation second. And so what I'm going to do, a vertical compression by one-third means I multiply my y by one-third. Two units up, that's a translation. I'll do that second. Y by one-third means my x values are not going to change. I can quickly write them all down because they're not going to change. Multiplying y by a third, this will become 1, this will become negative 1, stays 0, this will become 2. Again, I do a quick check. Did I do the right coordinates? Did I do my math right? always checking as I do my calculations. And then moving two up, so I'm at one. Again, my x-coordinates, if I'm moving up and down, that's vertical. My x-coordinates are not going to change. Moving two up, get me to three, get me to positive one, get me to two, and get me to four. Now we can plot those points. Where's negative 5 comma 3? You're like, oh, that's weird that it ends up in the same place as it started. But negative 2 comma 1, 1 comma 2, and 4 comma 4. Join your dots together. Does it look like it's been squished vertically and then shifted up? Seems to make sense. The shape appears to be that way. It says sketch and label its image. So now we need to come up with the equation for this one. How would we write this? If this is g of x, y by one-third outside the function, one-third g of x, two units up outside the function, plus two. Now, this is not very often that I also do the question that the textbook has, but I want to point out something so you can just, I'm going to do the Example, the textbook has the answer written down already. You don't have to write anything. I do want to show you something interesting that happens with this one. Okay? So reading it, can you see that this is basically the same question, except everything is horizontal? Okay? So you would start the same way. You would say, okay, what are my points? I have negative 4, 3, 0, negative 2. 2 comma 5 and 4 comma 2. I'm going to have stretches and compressions first and then translations after. We need to multiply our x values by a half. So in words, when it says a horizontal compression by a factor of a half, that means your x values get multiplied by a half. We then move three units to the left. That's a translation. That happens in the second part. So I take my points, x values by half. Negative 2, 0, 1, 2. Y values wouldn't change. Then three to the left, 
negative 5 comma 3, negative 3 negative 2, negative 2 comma 5, and negative 1 comma 2. We've got our points. If I draw this, nothing so far is any different than the last question. Oops, except I graphed it wrong. Negative 3, negative 2, be down there. Negative 2, comma 5. And finally, negative 1, comma 2. Does it look like it's been compressed horizontally? Yes. Does it look like it's been translated to the left? Yes. Now, what I wanted to point out in this one is when we go to write this equation, you are going to have to decide, because your brain is going to fight with you, there's two different ways that your brain might go for writing the equation. I'll write one in blue and one in green. One is right, one is wrong. Okay? So x by a half, that happens inside the function. So we would have f, because the function's f. The one half is a two. So this is, maybe I'll do it below so there's space. Y equals 2. And Y equals, oh, and blue one. Okay. So then we have to go 3 to the left. We have the following option. We can write our 3 to the left as x plus 3. Remember, 3 to the left has to be the plus. Or option 2 in the blue, we can write 3 to the left in its own set of brackets like that. Okay? These are different because if I put another set of brackets inside, this is actually 2x plus 6. And this one is 2x plus 3. One of them is the right way to show 3 to the left, and one of them is the wrong way. Okay? And what I hope your brain is saying right now is you have some doubt. You are not certain which one you know is right or which one is wrong. So if you have a little bit of doubt right now and you were asked to write it, there's a good chance you would write it wrong because you're like, I'm not quite sure. The right answer. And there's a hint in the construct the understanding. So if we go back to our construct the understanding and look how this one was written, the x plus 3 was written in brackets, in factored form. So in our case, this one is wrong. Okay? I've had students who say, of course that one's wrong. That looks more simple. And because math is so complicated already, it has to be wrong because it looks like the easier way to do it. It's also the wrong way because that's the way I thought I would do it. And apparently I'm always, you know, that's what I've had students say. This is the right one. So we're going to write underneath here at the bottom, you have, you have space at the bottom of 221, special note. When you have a a horizontal either stretch slash compression slash reflection. And this is only with horizontal. That's why I had to do this example on the side. And a horizontal translation. You must. Ooh, I should write must in big letters, too. You 
must write the equation in factored form. So here's our, our special note, because it comes up a lot. It comes up so much that, uh, like on the first, uh, I think on your next take-home quiz, it comes up a fair bit on there. It comes up a bunch on your test. And it's often something that students forget. I even had a student one year. I don't know if this is the, the greatest idea or not. This is what they did. They set a reminder on their phone for 8 p.m. every night. This showed up. Okay, There's lots of things you have to remember this year for math. This isn't just like... So if you start setting yourself reminders, you might have reminders for three hours every night about all the important things you need to remember for math. It might take too long. But they was like, okay, I, want, I need to remember this, that I have to write this in factored form. So they set a reminder every night. It came up, beep, oh yeah, factored form. Got to remember that. So sometimes equations aren't written in factored form and they ask you to do the transformation, so you always have to look for that. And sometimes you have to write the equation, and so you have to write it in factored form. Okay, questions for practice on this one, if you want to circle number four, five, and six.